Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be showing you the process behind painting this mushroom with eyeballs and all this crazy stuff. So, I did transfer my sketch onto my fancy watercolor paper, and that's why the sketch looks a little too perfect. <laughs> Normally, there's a lot more eraser lines, but I wanted to make sure that paper was still in good condition, didn't have too many graphite indents on it, so I just transferred it, and now I'm inking it with a Micron pen. I believe this is a 01, is that what that says? Kind of hard for me to see. So recently I've been wanting to combine my gouache paintings with my ink work. I'm in a weird stage with my art style where I have these two things I really like doing and I'm I don't know why, but I was very hesitant to try to combine them because I felt like, oh, my gouache paintings need to only be gouache and that process and my ink drawings are, are completely separate and I don't like that anymore. <laughs> I don't like, I don't want to do that anymore. There's moments where I want to just do ink and there's moments where I want to create a whole gouache painting, but lately I'm really feeling like just combining the two is pretty cool. I first did this with my Incorruption We Trust painting and I made the border in green gouache, so it is partially gouache around the border, but it's texturized with pointillism and ink work. Anyways, enough rambling, oh my god. Uh, so I'm getting watercolor pencils here, and as you can see, I made a little gradient because the lighting is a little funky. Alright, and this one's gonna be a little weird. There's some cool light to the left and really warm light to the right. So I put purple, then red, then orange, then yellow watercolor pencils. And I got a very damp brush and just blended that all together. I'm doing the same thing for the grass as well as the stem. I used a cool toned, like, light blue, gray. Um, watercolor pencil just to establish that there's a shadow cast there and originally I was just going to have the mushroom have that gradient because I was like okay well there's going to be a cooler tone light source on the left side and a warmer toned light source on the right side because that's what the reference photo had and I really liked it um, but as you'll see pretty soon that wound up developing into I want to do rainbow <laughs> So, yeah, uh, it, that wasn't the plan, but it happened. And I think right now is when I decided, you know, what if this is just like a funky, everything's iridescent lighting, kind of. And as you can see here, that is exactly what I did. I made the lighting in this look as iridescent as I could. Almost like there's a color flip. You, you know those cars that have a, this cool alien color to them and in the lighting it looks like they're two different colors? That's kind of what I was going with this. And I'm going to continue to do the rest of the painting with this kind of lighting um, if possible. Anyways, oh my god, I'm rambling again, bro. Okay, so I have the eyeballs and my idea with the eyeballs Oh my god, okay, so I wanted it to be rainbow, so the very top one is purple, then at the bottom there's blue and green, and then there's yellow, orange, red. My idea behind doing that was, you see the skeleton fairy, like, touching the top of the mushroom where it's, like, indigo? That is, it was kind of like a nod to the, cho the chakra, how do you say it, chakra or chakra? those systems and the crown is like an indigo color the crown chakra and in a way I wanted it to allude to the fairy like being enlightened or something I don't know it was kind of a weird painting that was fun but also like resembling awakening I guess a little bit and I guess another part of the idea of this painting was almost like it was welcoming you to the fey realm that you don't typically see in everyday life. The areas that I plan on leaving 
purely ink is going to resemble more of the other realm where it's more spirit, less material. And I've kind of subconsciously done that in my other paintings. So in the pyramid painting I was talking about previously, I'll put a picture here so you guys know what I'm talking about when I say the pyramid painting. Um, cherubs are holding up the banners and that's pretty otherworldly and the pyramid seems more grounded because it looks like a 3D object, you know what I mean? So in this piece, I was a little bit more intentional with that subconscious thought I had about using ink to resemble something else or otherworldly and using gouache to represent um, what's in the 3D realm but may be part of the other realm, if that makes sense. It's to give a sense of two dimensions or worlds colliding into one. And I didn't really, I wasn't even self aware of that until like I had to do this voiceover and like talk about what I was thinking about while I was painting because I just feel things and make them. And, <laughs> and then I, and then I say what I was thinking while I was painting them and I was like, whoa, that's, hmm. And this is why I don't talk. This is why I just paint. <laughs> Whatever. Anyways, it's also, I like this idea too because rainbow. Duh. And right here I'm adding highlights to make the eyeballs look moist. And I'm so sorry I had to... I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm getting to the point where I am editing quite a few videos right now. And it's just getting chaotic. So enjoy the ride. But for this I'm just using straight up white gouache because I don't have time to water that down. Okay, I want this to have highlights that are popping to the gods. And we gotta make that shit look glistening. Oh, okay, and I also remembered after looking at this uh, footage again, I did add some red watercolor pencils to the tear ducts and the water lines because when you look at an eyeball, all right, if you look at the whites of the eyeball, it has like a pink gradient sometimes and there's also a little bit of blue. It's really weird. It's not just white. There's a lot of different colors going on because anatomy, am I right? So I just put in some red watercolor pencil and I, with a very, like, slightly damp brush so that I can almost dry brush in the paint, I just blended it into the whites of the eye and it created like a pink gradient. Um, and next to the miniature veins I painted in, it made it look really real. So just pro tip, anytime you're trying to paint an eye, just know that the the eyes are not perfectly white and for some reason also around the iris, there's always like a little blue ring and it's good to include that regardless of what the color of the iris is because anatomy. And while I'm sure like all my stuff, it's like, duh, that wouldn't happen in real life. And yes, I understand that, but you gotta have some level of realism, you know, to just make things pop off and look kind of cool. And like, whoa, is this real? Is it not? You know, I know. Okay, I think I got my point. And so basically at this point, I have a almost dry brush, very little water on my brush, and I'm blending together some more of those mid-tones. I used red for the mid-tone in this and I had to replace that on some of the eyelids in the middle because it got lost with the highlights I was putting on and the purple cool side lighting got a little mixed in so I just had to freshen that up a little bit. I definitely have a tendency to overblend, and I really had to learn how to restrain myself from doing that. Um, because what would happen is that every single layer I would want to blend in the paint to get perfect radiance when with gouache especially if you're adding even more layers on top it's going to get blended anyway so what wound up happening was it would all blend together and I have to, have to redo that layer essentially so try to resist the urge to just blend everything together and make it look smooth because I promise on the final layer it will be you just have to be patient. Oh my god, I talked so much. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't, give it a thumbs down, I guess. I don't know. Uh, and I'll see you next week. Bye! And hopefully at some point I finish this painting.